everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to digitize a VHS tape. So when you have these VHS tapes laying around, you could turn it into a video file with a couple of different things. I want to show you what you need and how to do it. So these are the few things you need. Obviously, your tape that you want to digitize, that's one. You need a VCR, and what's important about a VCR, it needs to have these video and audio connections. So the yellow video input and the white and the red audio input, you need those because the device that we're going to use is going to use that connection to connect it to your computer. Then you need a computer, so VCR, VHS, and the computer. But what you need the most is this thing. I will link to it in the description. It's a video capture device. So this is what's going to take your VCR feed and feed it into a computer and this is going to basically take care of the analog to digital conversion. This works for Mac, PC, iPad, iPhone. It's really a great device and I'll have a link in the description. You could just pick one up there. So let's go ahead and connect this. Then I want to show you what happens on the computer. This comes with a software that makes this super easy. You just simply t put in your VHS tape into your VCR, make this connection, pop up the software, and then you could start recording and basically putting it on your computer, on a USB, wherever you want. You could even turn it into a DVD. I have a different video about a DVD conversion. If you want to take anything and make it a DVD, you could do that. But obviously nowadays, a digital file is much better than a DVD. So let's go ahead and connect this. I'll show you the next step. So this is that device. This is the device that we're going to connect right into our computer. And it's a USB connection. So pretty much any computer should have a USB connection where we're going to plug this part into. And then the other end is this part where we're going to connect this into our VCR. And it does actually come with this piece that I've never used before. But if you have a really old school VCR, you could basically convert it into getting this connection out of it. But this RCA connection could be made with this connection. But I just recommend you pick one up that already has this connection. If you look here, this one already has that connection. And the nice thing about these VCRs is I bought this one for $13 on eBay. So you could pick these up pretty cheap. So first we want to make sure our VCR is turned on here and we want to put in our VHS tape. That's pretty simple. Just go ahead and put that in right here. And go ahead and rewind it back to the beginning of the tape. We're going to capture it from the beginning of the tape and then you just press pause when it's done or it will stop by itself. Next we're going to take our cable from our converter here and we're going to go into video and audio and then take the USB end and plug it into your computer device here. Next, we're going to go to this website and I'll put a link in the description to this website where we want to download the software, the video capture. This one in this case is for Mac, but it will let you know which software to download depending on your device. Go ahead and download it. And once it's downloaded, it's over here, this DMG file on my Mac here. I'm going to go ahead and open it. If you're on a PC, it's a different process, but it's basically the same as downloading and installing a software. Go ahead and add it to your application folder in the case of a Mac. And I'm going to go ahead and open it now. Here it is in my application folder. Now I could double click and open it. I'm going to press open. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, install it right here on my device. And now it says, what is your movie's name? So I'm going to call this first VHS. And it says, how long is the movie? You may not know this. Sometimes on the VC VHS tape, it actually tells you, but you could just choose one of these. I'll just choose 60 minutes. And it's just basically telling you how much gigabyte space. In this case, if it's 90 minutes, it's about a gig worth of hard drive space. Nowadays, this should not be a problem. Any computer is probably going to have plenty of space. Press continue. Now, we use the composite connection, the RCA connection, the yellow and the white and the red cables. There's a S video connection too, I did not show you, but that might be the connection that you used. And here, the aspect ratio most likely is four by three. This is the old school TV, 16 by nine is most likely not a case of a VHS tape. So I'm gonna press continue here. And then it says connect the audio cable. Again, we did that as part of connecting our three cables. And now I need to press play on the VCR. So press play on the VCR so the signal could actually show up over here so you could actually start recording it. Once it starts playing, we want to press the record icon. Obviously from the beginning of the tape, this one I did not rewind all the way. But if I press start recording, it's going to start recording. So you could see the duration of it 
gonna start recording right here. And at any time I could stop recording. Let me just press mute on this. And then you could also mute sound if you just wanna capture the video. So let's say I was done recording just for the sake of the time here. I'm gonna just press stop. And here it's gonna allow you, you see on the side it's going to trim mode so you could change the beginning and the end of it if you want to here. I'm gonna go ahead and press continue. And now it's gonna actually save it to my movies based on the file name I gave it. What would you like to do? Play with QuickTime, add to iTunes, upload to YouTube. I usually upload to YouTube much later after this process, not right now, even if I wanted to put it on YouTube. Let's say you just want QuickTime player. This is again based on a Mac. You could also get QuickTime for a PC. And there it is. It's just been right there playing. And I could go ahead and check my movies folder here. And here's my movie folder and I'm gonna press spacebar and there it is. It's been captured right into my folder and I could always go ahead and play it. It's an mp4 file, which is a file that's great for just about any way you want to use it. It's a great fo file format. Now you could go and repeat this process again, name something, go ahead and change the duration, press continue, and it's gonna play right here. And if you press stop on the VCR, it should go ahead and stop it right there. If you have any problems making this connection, just make sure you try the back, the front, the variety of different ways. It has to be a video output there. In my VCR, actually the line didn't work, but it should be a line out. You're basically putting an output. So if the line in doesn't work, the line out is what you're looking to use. So make sure you look for a line out on your VCR. I hope you found this useful and you could capture your VHS tapes this way. Link to everything is in the description and you can pick up an old VCR on eBay for just a few bucks. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for daily tech videos and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.